CC's decision to to throw at him there? Do I? Like You're awfully a, a, assumptive there. I was I was still fuming just from the fact that Kittredge threw one over our catcher's head. Uh, so th that's where my frustration lies, and and just glad that no one was hurt. You thought there was intent on their end, though, or just a matter of not being able to locate, and it's so close to the head, that's what really gets you? Fired. Yeah, I think there's no question there was intent. And, you know, if you're going to, you've had some guys hit this series, and then you're going to throw, and you throw one over the head, then I, I think just kick rocks. I, I, I hated it. Why did, he, why did he explain to the warnings to you, or how did he explain to you? I actually didn't know there was warnings right after because I was so mad at, you know, seeing Roe get dropped like that. You know, so my first concern was just, you know, frustration and making sure he was okay. I actually didn't even know the warnings. I know when CC walked out, he said something, and, and Vic was clear that he did issue the warnings. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I wasn't even aware at first of the warnings, but I was just trying to, you know, just kind of reconcile you know, them throwing it row like they did. So, uh, I'm sorry, just to be clear, look, so they had a couple guys, I mean, Kiermaier had his foot broken mm -hmm. yesterday and then another guy hit today. So if, if you're going to, if the Rays are going to answer that, just, you know, down here, not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously there's, there's no one, to, you know, Kiermaier gets hit with a slider in the foot and, and that's really unfortunate. And if you're going to play that game and you start messing around with people's heads, then, you know, you know, I, I, we, we're going to take exception to that. So, Aaron, does something like that even raise CC's status in that clubhouse even more? Oh, I don't. I, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I don't. I don't know. You'd have to. You'd have to ask. You know, those guys. I mean, that's. Again, I think we're just assuming that everything unfolded the way it did and you know I I'm just I'm just glad Rose okay through all of this as he walked off the mound he mouthed something at the raised dugout lots of them yelling at him like you know when when it happened so you know chicken and the egg right are you worried at all in that like in that moment that it escalates to Absolutely. something else where somebody can get through. Absolutely. And, it, you know, and especially this time of year. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing you worry about. And obviously right now we have a lot at stake. And the uh, last thing we want to do is, you know, get guys in trouble or get guys, more importantly, get guys hurt. Did you, on your way out, do you convey that message or, or is that just something that everybody knows? Or Yeah. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have a clear clear message. Aaron, that was probably one of Stacey's better games too. I mean, he was he was cruising in that, and uh, yeah, so think, he had a lot of stake in the way that he had been pitching as well. well. I think what gets lost in all of it is how well he threw the ball, and uh, his slider was terrific today. I mean, he had it at will, back door, the cutter, you know, which is which has been a little spotty for him his last few starts was was excellent. I loved, he looked like he was playing catch out there today. And, you know, you know the velocity was a lot of 87, 88 with the cutter, with the sinker. I thought he threw good sinkers to lefties. The cut fastball was a factor for him. But, you know, I didn't overthrow anything. It just looked like he was playing catch with Romine out there. So it was really exciting to see him so on top of his game, you know, especially, uh, you know, this time of year.